Hello, and welcome to Bees and Tea Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian, and Selena is over there being really adorable with her catnip toy, so she may or may not join us later. So, welcome to anybody who's new. Welcome back to all you guys who have been here before. I always appreciate all you guys. Uh, this is my little uh, part of the internet where I talk about stitching and my cat and, you know, just whatever else is going on. So, uh, let me go ahead and I'll start with... Um, what's been going on this week uh the big thing this week was um the hubby and i went to go see beetlejuice at our local theater and uh, it was the off-broadway version of it and it was really really good i very much enjoyed it uh i did get a t-shirt but it is in the wash so i will try to wear it next week but i can't promise but yeah so um if the traveling version of beetlejuice is coming to your area i would definitely recommend watching it uh, there is language, so, you know, maybe not for the little kids, um, but it is really funny. And it, it does not, uh, no spoilers, obviously, but it does not go point by point for the movie. Um, it kind of has the bare bones, haha, of the movie. kind of has some of the, some of the, you know, some of the beats of it, but it definitely goes its own way. So, um, yeah. And so, you know, it's not just a rehashing. It's a lot more interesting than that. All right, so um, that's really about it, honestly, for this week. Um, work's been pretty busy. Um, didn't get a whole lot of stitching done, but uh, got a got a bit enough to show you guys. I do have a new start, so that'll be good to see. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, really, for this week. So let me go ahead and go on to the comments. Um, I love every comment. I read every comment. I respond to every single one. So I always uh, encourage you guys to uh, to send comments. And now Selena is rubbing herself against the catnip toy. All right. I wish you guys could see this. It's extraordinarily cute. But anyway, and she's licking it. Okay. Anyways, the comments. <clears throat> so let me get back up to the top here. So, Vicky, Stitching Button says, All cut up. Thanks for keeping me company while I was sewing. Well, you're very welcome. I appreciate it. Uh, you should buy a set of six mini stretcher bars um, for my... And she's talking about for my... Um, the pumpkin one, which you will see. Um, I actually have bought a, a pack of uh, the stretcher bars and the, the, um, the tacks. I have not put it on there yet, so I need to do that today or tomorrow sometime. Um... So yeah, but but yeah, thank you for the uh, advice. I appreciate it. I, I got them at my my LNS. Uh, I'll be honest to um, to go ahead to the um, uh, to the part where I talk about uh, haul. That was actually my only haul this week. Uh, I have put in a lot of well, not well. I guess it's kind of a lot of uh, requests for the um, for stuff at market, which will be this weekend. So our the two people from our LNS should be heading down there today, I believe. Um, I'd be surprised if they're not already there. Um, so, um, soon enough, I will get plenty of, of good stuff. Oh, you want to come up? Come on. Come on. Come on, Selena. Come on. Okay, well, maybe she doesn't want to come up. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Are you on the camera? Well, you're partially on the camera. Please don't show your butt. Thank you. So there you go. There's Selena for anybody who hasn't met her yet. It's my black cat. She's about, well, almost all black cat. Um, she's eight or nine-ish, I believe. And we got her as a rescue. So, yep. And now she's licking her toes. Alrighty. Anyway, so if you ever hear me talking about Selena, I'm talking about this little thing over here. There you go. Who, like I said, is licking her toes for some weird reason. Anyways, so comments. Um, yeah, so I did buy the stretcher bars. Uh, let's see what else did she have to say. Um, I use one for Moment of Wonderland. Oh, keep showing that you belong to me because it makes me think that I need to power stitch on it now. Yes, you do. Um, so Vicky and I started. I believe we started at the same time. Um, it was a New Year New Start for 2022. And she had some issues on the first page. She had to rip some out and um, and put a, a decent amount back. So I think that may have kind of, you know, 
may have kind of soured her a little bit, which I totally understand, believe me. Um, but yeah, so she kind of fell, and I think she just started uh, doing other projects, so she kind of fell behind on it. Uh, so yeah, I would love to see what she's done because she chose a different fabric and a different color. Um, it's still in the blue family, but it was a, I believe it was a darker, no, it was a lighter blue, I think. Uh, I think she chose a lighter blue. And, um, so yeah, I would love to see what it looks like. So start working on it, darn it. Uh, also from Stitch and Button, uh, that Sal challenge will never be not funny. It was so much fun, plus we got two finishes off of it. Uh, what she's talking about is the time, a couple months ago, I guess it was, where she wanted to start something together. And so I was like, okay, sure. And I, what are you doing, you weirdo? Anyway, so um, I went ahead and I got started with one a little bit early. But I actually, it was a, it was a tea pattern, but I actually grabbed the wrong tea pattern. So, you know, she, of course, never gave me um, the endo brief, which, you know, is, you know, acceptable. Don't lick at my tea, please. That's very hot. Uh, so, yeah, she never gave me the end of grief of it. And she ended up not only finishing the one that I was supposed to start before me, but also the one that I started before her. She, she finished that one before me. So it was just, it was a big thing. And it was hilarious. Um, I don't know which video. You'd have to go back to back a few more, a few videos back from this one. Um to find it but yeah it was it was really funny and so that's what she's talking about there um but yeah so i i told her uh her response was i guess i need to mess up more often so i can get more things done uh it was hilarious so which pattern am i going to finish first next so i guess we need to figure out something that we need to uh try to try to start together again and we've got a couple of things she uh she finished with um uh one nation before i did Although I think she might have had it started before I did. Um, and we did start um, You Belong to Me together. And then those two T projects. I don't know if there's anything else we're working on. Maybe she can respond. It seems like maybe we've had some stitch alongs from before that both of us have kind of kind of lost track of. But anyway, so yeah, that, that was really fun. Uh, Sheila Humphrey Morris says, um, hey Sebastian, when I met you with a treat, you were at the bottom of page five of your long dust sampler. You've stitched a lot on it. I have, thank you. Um, I actually started on the bottom of page five and working up. I'm still on page five, but I'm almost done. The only thing I have left is this big rabbit motif, which is a lot of really solid stitching. So I don't know exactly how long that's going to take, but you know, I'm, I'm hoping to finish that. I don't know. I could probably finish it this month maybe and maybe go on to the next page that would be really cool um the next page will be the halfway mark yeah the next page will be the halfway mark when i finish it not when i start it so you know that's i'm not as close to halfway as i'd like to think but you know for starting it in january 2022 and it's a gigantic long dog that's not that bad. I mean, yeah, people definitely stitch it faster than that. But I'm not concentrating on it. I'm not doing only that. So, you know, obviously. I. But I really tend to work on it at least a little bit every week. So that that is good because I just, I'm still enjoying it. Um, speaking of Rice Krispie Treats, I was in an airport and saw the biggest um, block serving. Uh, they were maybe four by four. I bought two because I didn't want to share with my husband. <laughs> I understand that. I do understand that totally. I still haven't made rice crisp receipts. One of these days. Uh, we definitely have the peanut butter for it. I just, we don't have rice crisp treats. Rice krispies. Um, but uh, when we were out for Beetlejuice a couple nights ago, um, it was Wednesday night. So yeah, a couple nights ago. Uh, we stopped at a coffee shop and they had what they called um, brown butter rice crispy treats, which looked really tempting, but I actually bought a shortbread instead. Uh, it was like a vanilla green shortbread, which is really good. So I'm kind of curious, and hopefully they'll have it again uh, if we go downtown. I don't go downtown all that often because it's it's a ways away. It's about half an hour to get there. 
Uh, and, you know, traffic and all that. So, um, but if I ever go down there again, I definitely want to see if they have that. Because I'm really curious as to what, I'm not 100% sure what brown butter is. So, or what it tastes like. So, yeah. Alright. Um, uh, one stitch at a time. Said, um, I went ahead and found some Ale Ada. Um, and so it's, uh, it's on its way. Uh, honestly, I really think you're going to enjoy, uh, doing it on the Ada. I, I think... Uh, and, I'm, and I do have that to show again this week as well. So I, I think you'll enjoy how it looks. I, I like how it looks on the ale. Um, also, uh, 25 count, I do one over one. It's going to be tough getting two strands without making it look bulky. Yeah, I, I that's what I've been suggested at my LNS was to do um, on the 25 to do uh, one over one. Or one over, yeah, one over one. So I Still don't know what I'm going to do with it or how I'm going to stitch it. Um, so just kind of watch the space and I'll, you know, as soon as I figure something out, I will definitely tell you guys. But um, that's kind of on the back burner right now. It's just not as important as the, excuse me, wow. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's not as important as the other stuff I'm working on right now. So there you go. Uh, so uh, Linda Figatola says, hi, Sebastian. Great seeing you today. Thank you. Uh, the pumpkin looks, love the pumpkin, very pretty. So, yeah, honestly, I mean, yes, the pumpkin's been a little bit of a slog, I'm not going to lie. But the more I get done of it, and the more I'm kind of seeing how it's coming out, the more I'm liking it. And, and the, the less of a chore it seems to be to work on it. Um, it's still a lot, I mean, it's full coverage, and so it's still going to be a lot to finish. But, um, but yeah, so yeah, it's, it's been fun. And uh, I'm going to enjoy it when it's done. I don't know what in the hell I'm going to do with it when it's done. But that's a future me problem. And finally, but last but not definitely not least, Debbie Sisk says, uh, Not much for messaging since February has been a medical nightmare. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I hope whatever's happening gets cleared up and and uh, you can get, back, get to good, back to good health. So, hopefully. Very, very soon. If not already. Um, I would totally crop the other piece. Yeah, thank you. I, I think I'm going to. Again, that's very low priority. I don't know when I'm really going to work on that one, but soon-ish, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what's causing me to yawn. I, I got enough sleep last night. Uh, my cat said to tell Selena, meow, meow, per meow. No clue what that means. I don't know what it means either, but she seemed to enjoy it when I, when I relayed the message to her. So, whatever it means, apparently it was good. So, awesome. Cool. Awesome. Well, that is my um, messages. And again, I encourage anybody to, um, you know, definitely send anything. I love reading them and responding to them and all that good stuff. All right. So, the good stuff. The stitching. I have three today. Um, no um, no finishes. No, no FFOs, as usual. But I do have a finish. I mean, a, a finish. I do have a start. Now, the only bad thing is it is a Patreon exclusive from Fox and Rabbit. So, I don't have a link for you guys to, to download it. Um, it was available in October. Um, it is possible that she may um, that she may release or they may release it later. I don't know. Um, but, I did take a picture of it. So... There you go. It's called In Memory of Queen Elizabeth II. So, and it's only one, two, what, five colors? No, seven colors actually total, I believe. So, um, but yeah, so it's a cute little, cute little pattern. So that's, uh, that's what it's going to look like when it's done there. And I don't have much. Um, I apologize. Let me, I need to pause this for just one second. I apologize. I apologize, guys. I got a phone call I had to take. So, I was talking about the Queen Elizabeth. So, um, oh, yeah, and Selena decided to join me while I was on pause there. So, hi, Selena. Um, but all I've got right now is just a little bit of border at the top. There we go. So, not a whole bunch. And I also got a Dalek and an It's Not Lupus. So, they're at least English adjacent. But, um, there you go. So, it, it ain't much, but... I mean, I only started it literally last night, so, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of time to stitch it. 
Um, this is something I really had wanted to stitch a lot earlier than this. Um, but I kept forgetting to get the, the fabric, I mean, the not fabric, the, um, threads and such. So, you know, that does kind of help. It's just DMC and it's not a whole bunch of colors, but of course, you know, knowing my luck, they were the few colors that I didn't have because, you know, that's just how it works. You leaving me again? Or are you just going to come sit here? Nope, you're leaving me again. Okay. Cats want to do but what they want to do. So, the second one, I guess I'll go ahead and do this next since it's in order. I really did not get much of this done. I just worked on it a little bit of one evening. I, I don't want to say my stitchy bug is kind of gone, but I don't know. It's, it's napping a little bit, but it's not totally, totally gone. It's just kind of, it's sleepy. But, uh, I did get a little bit done on One Nation. It's just that I've had a lot of other stuff going on, so stitching has not taken a back seat, but has um, kind of, I don't know, taken a side seat, perhaps. Oops, hold on. Uh, I hate it when I do this. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just do this. That'll be easier. There we go. Okay, so um, again, all I'm doing is the, um, is the red, so I think maybe I started here, finished that, and then started working on that. I think that's all I've worked on now. So, yeah, right now, as of now, this is very boring to look at, and it's pretty boring to stitch, too, but this obviously has to be done because you need the, you can't have the stars and stripes without the stripes. That's just, you know, how that works. So, you know, that's that old chestnut. <laughs> but, yeah, so I got a little bit done on that. Uh, this one is the one I probably got the most done on again because I've been working on this, um, you know, at my LNFs. Again, because the light's really good and I can do the beads. Uh, and I, I will go ahead and, uh, like I said before, I will put, um, put the whole part of this in here because I have the spreader bars, six inch spreader bars, which obviously I have not used yet, and my Dollar General thumbtacks. I go in there for thumbtacks and I end up paying like 30 bucks for a whole bunch of stuff in there. But, you know, that's just kind of how that goes. Ah, I've got thread everywhere. Thread, my god. It really is like thread everywhere. It's a thread apocalypse. Uh, there we go. Okay. Alrighty then, and this goes here, ah. okay, there we go, ow, that was, ow, yeah, that was me stabbing myself with a, with a needle, so, um, this goes up that way, okay, so, hey, I got the purple flower in there, um, once again, I've just been kind of working over this way, so, um, i really just been doing this section right here. Um, and a little bit up at the top, I believe. I think I went across. Yeah, I went across a bit so I could put that flower in. So, across and over. And, yeah, it's getting there. So, I would definitely say it's over halfway done. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's about halfway done. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's still a lot. It's got all that, that's all solid stitching in there. And so, um, today or tomorrow or someone sometime very soon, I will go ahead and I'll put this on the stretcher bars, um, so I don't have to worry about anything tearing or folding, um, because like I said, that has been a bit of a worry, and I'm not really sure what's going on with this. There we go. Okay. That makes it feel a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, that is, that is that. Uh, come on. Yeah, this is gonna end up being a short, uh, short video today, I think, which is fine, I guess, if, if you guys don't mind, because, like I said, there's no haul. Whenever I finally get that haul from, um, from market, whichever, whenever that's gonna be, uh, that's definitely going to be a, uh, a nice long video, because that's gonna be a lot of good haul to show, assuming it all comes at the same time. I don't really know. Oh, and I absolutely forgot to tell you, because I've been busy with the cat and other stuff. 
We have a Milky Builders. I can't show it because it's going to be too, uh, it's too close to the top. But, good old PG Tips, which is just a very basic English tea with some sugar and some milk. 2% milk. Mm. No, I really can't show it to you. Sorry. Eh, you can see a little bit over there. But anyway. So, nice Milky Builders. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good basic English tea for our basic English bitches. Anyway, whatever. Um, Alright, so that is all the stitching. So all I really have left is the of the weeks. And then you guys will be all set. So let me go up and go to the... There we go. The of the weeks. Uh, Alright, so the um, website, the uh, stitchy website of the week... Is going to be a Stitchy AF, which I love the name. Um, once again on Etsy. Um, so they have a lot of nerdy stuff. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Some stuff, some kind of subversive stuff. Um, but just a lot of really cool things. So um, that's definitely some I've... Um, and they do have a couple things from Our Flag Means Death, which is kind of awesome. I love Our Flag Means Death, and I can't wait for Season 2. I also can't wait for Season 2 of Good Omens. Both of those are coming soon-ish, so I'm very excited about that. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so definitely check uh, Stitchy AF out. And so that will be, obviously, be down below. <clears throat> and the non-Stitchy website of the week, which I have spent way too much time on, it's called The Useless Web. So um, what it is, is it's just one button, and it'll take you to a random website. Um... I think they're websites that they have created, so they're going to be like little games, or, um, um, I know one was like a, a Minesweeper game with one button, uh, one was a, uh, Long Doge, which you just kept scrolling down and, um, getting wows, one was a, you, it would, like, make a tweet for you, um, on Twitter, so it's just a whole bunch of random things, it was really cute, and I, I definitely spent... Way too much time there. There was also, like, like a beer in Mondrian. Like, I, you know, as an art nerd, I appreciated that one. Uh, Pete Mondrian is the one who did just the basic, like, white with the basic black lines. And then he had some of the primary, he had, like, the primary colors, like, red, yellow, and, and um, blue in some of the squares or, or rectangles. If you saw him, you'd recognize him. I don't know if that's a good way to um, to describe him. But you, you'd recognize him if you saw him. Uh, so that was, that one was really fun. I was appreciating that. Um, but yeah, it's just totally random and you can definitely spend a lot of time there. So be careful. And also, so I went to a new BFAX page because I think I had used up pretty much all the good BFAX on the one I had before, but it lasted a good time. So RIP other B page. Um, so I'll start out with the basic one, which I think I've probably done before, but not in a while. There are 20,000 species of bees. And that's honestly surprising. I just, you know, I mean, I know obviously with insects, they tend to have a lot of different species. But, yeah, just, that's kind of mind-blowing that there's that many types of bees. I mean, even around here, there's like a dozen or more types, so. You know, including bees and wasps. All right. Well, that actually ended up being quite short. I don't know, maybe I was talking too long I'm not, or talking too fast. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so that's really about it. Um, I don't have any reason why I shouldn't be here next week, as far as I know. Um, I don't, I doubt, I, I don't know what she's going to be able to come home with from um, the, the owner of our LNS. I, I'm not going to hold my breath about having things, uh, having her be able to bring anything home from directly from market i'm going to assume that it's going to be ordered and shipped so that it'll take a few weeks so i may have some stuff next week but you know some stuff to show but if not you know then hold on because it'll be there soon um i don't remember how many things i ordered it was probably eight or ten maybe it was a lot. Well, I added a couple on at the very end, so. And it's entirely possible that when she gets, when if she does bring stuff, 
back next week, you know, there may be some more stuff. Because there was some stuff that was, like, that close to being ordered, but I was really trying to hold off a little bit because that's a lot of patterns. So, you know. Um, all right. So, I guess that's about it for me rambling. From Selena, who is, I have no idea where she is now because cats wander. Uh, and myself, I will talk to you guys hopefully next week. Bye.